Storm, middle lane, jumps on Loader, but he used the Orc, but BKB be stronger than Orc, and, and S4 being grabbed back hitting it, he's still got the Aegis Immortal though, so they've used both BKBs, they've picked up at least the Aegis Hero, but that's it, now they come back up alive again, Loader's very, very low on life, one shot is only just keeping alive for both EGM as well as Loader himself, while well, okay, dropping down the ulti, S4, back into the mix, TC, one last attack, Admiral Bordo jumps in, they've lost one for one right now, S4 still away, Admiral Bordo battling up against Quopa, Loader will take him out, S4, Long way east, the moves are giving up the chase, and Bulba, he's getting it locked in between the tether. The imprisonment comes up from Flopper's up, and then Reality Rift as she locks Bulba in the trees. Axis always. Ogre, they ran these kind of early mid game centric push lineups that could also fight very well, and they executed it amazingly well. The, the crowd is going to be applauding right now while Fnatic is going to attempt. This is some ballsy play. If they succeed with this, their momentum rolling into this early game is going to be so insane. They throw down a couple of wards. They're smoked up and gone to the jungle. Now the smoke is going to wear off. And Kuro and Force are coming in the worst way. They can get shackled here and they're going to back up. OD's got an imprisonment. Dandy, Burrow Strike. No tell. Starts off well. Gale, Blast, Dandy. The tether's coming in. Trying to get him away to safety. Then the Enchantress heal as well. Leveled up by Puppy. Now the one second, oh no, Tally's gonna go down right now! He's one more hit! Puppy's low! No, Tally does die! Scoring is the last of this the win! And now Danny comes back in the fight! Fly! Harley battling up with the force of money! This pair's holding hands! Hurting imprisonment from Danny! It's slowing down Era! One last blast, but now he will go down! Oh, the Enchantress took a fall up next! It's, it's crazy! Look at that range! Yeah! And it's only 50 mana! Yep. Happy gaming, man. They can empty, empty their entire mana pool and drop any support here at zero life points. And Poppy's going to look for a bit of a, a bit of a, uh, a well, he is. He's going to get a hold off here. Way too sexy. He has the grave chill, so he's got the movement speed to escape from this. But if Poppy can keep, oh, oh he got him! Oh. Nice shot. <laughs> Arrow flies easily. Five of them heading into the Radiant Jungle. They're going to find Funnick. BKB, he never got the Eclipse off though. But the BKB will negate a large portion of the damage. And then Puppy just drops his ulti with a shackle from Dandy. It hits on both Era. And now double kill for Funnick. Honey still caught in the middle of all this. The arrow will nail onto Funnick. While Honey still running himself away. They're all gunked up by the Veno ulti. I mean, I think Liquid at that point just said we're going to have to fall back to defensive position. Liquid, here. Liquid's coming out to fight. They really want to try and engage on somebody here. Bulbas coming up first, but look at the play course, slowing him down. He gets a bug to the face. TC comes in, but he can't reach out for Bulldog. The Kongs keep found the infest will actually happen through Arcade's creep. And now they found S4. He needs to get down here. S4, maybe wind up the ulti. Hand of God's already been used because Alliance, well, they're not taking that much damage, but the Dark Sea of all Admiral Bulldog is having a hard time living. S4, there winds up the ulti. Try and beat down TC. He's living in the corner. S4, triple kill. Oh, it's a team wipe with his back to the river. He survives. T1 Town, it's becoming a trade off for Horst as well as uh, Kuro. Uh, pushing onto the tier 2 tower in the top lane. The Bounds and Glades Fluff's really got to keep his distance here, but then again, they TP everybody in her boss. If you can throw the ulti, you bet he will! Look at that shackle onto the corpse! I don't even know how that connects! What? This shouldn't have connected! TZ's back in the base! They lose the familiars. They lose both of them again. Oh, it's four, he got the stack! Oh! In and out! In and out so quickly! What a player. And look at this team three tower melt. Bull, 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 oh, oh, X, X. The Denny has no ulti. Hook shot in. Funnick, he's deep and forced up here by Trixie. He got a perfect ultimate out from him. Lynch is already now flying back into this game. The main bring down Trix for Koro. He got locked in position. Now here comes Era. He's already got himself an ultra kill. And he might get more with multi free Era and even closer. Denny will imprison him up for the moment. A boss put the BKB. He wants revenge on this poor little Io. And maybe now with Denny. Oh! 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 This just is not cricket! Era will now go again on Dendi and Avos. Swing cleave, swing cleave. Where is it? Avos right back at him. Oh, it's going to be a triple, triple. round face from Era. GG, Fnatic. They pummel Navi into oblivion and down into the lower bracket and have secured themselves a spot in the grand final here at 3 Mac 2013. The crowd applaud them. And rightly so. Survived back in towards the middle lane. Now for Voss, 
He's trying to find this entire team. He popped the Satanic, but he could not keep attacking. And Funnick, he's already used the Ravage as well, but the Blade Mail is really hurting on TC. And now in comes Tandy! The splash damage! The Nightmare TC! He got time to use the cheese! He had time to use the cheese! Flubber Subs moved up. Bulbas already comes up a double kill right now. Familiars, they're looking for the drop down. Finally, Denny PKP is going to wear off. Bulba locks himself in there with the Brain Tap damage and TC with the DD. Finally, from outside, they got the, the, uh, the cogs. Bulba will actually pick up an ultra kill in this one, and they may be nice enough to give him the full on rampage right now. TC, now they're gonna have a crack. Avorst jumping in. There goes your ghost after buying some time with the battery assault. Not making this easy. There's your stuff off. There's your rampage for Team Liquid. Now it's a lot harder for Fnatic to try to break high ground because they know that Eric can't just walk in. So. Oh, drop in! Oh, there it is! Four in the hole! Lich on to follow it up! Admiral Bulldog will be wiped right now as well. They lose three and they will lose racks after this as well. The perfect blink in hole from Fly. Fly was also stolen by EGM, so they have this option with the BT supports coming in from the Invoker. He came out of the Necro units, but S4 deafening blood. Wow. Harding turned this one around now over to EGM. He's only got track, he doesn't have anything else to help out the sun. Oh. Great the positioning is absolutely oh. stupendous from oh. Harding. Because the reinforcements left, they can come on top lane liquid. Try and go on a force. One familiar stop, the second one a little bit too far away. This may be dandy. He turns on a Bulba, able to get a kill up there right now. The Centaur's coming, has already used his stop, oh. and look at this! Flash oh. damage and a boss with a black cannon too! Dandy gets himself a double kill and Liquid may have just thrown away a huge point of their advantage. Definitely have a long road ahead of them if they want to come back. I wanted to talk about the Vanguard.